Here we'll build a histogram using the data set for the players in the NBA with their points per game listed here. In the last example, we built a grouped frequency table, and now we're going to build a histogram that matches it. So we're going to take the frequency table we built earlier and just draw this histogram to represent the same picture. So to do that, we'll start with a grid, and the x values will range from 0 up to 24.9 or up to 25. So we'll have 0 here, 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. And each of these classes will fit between two of those values. So the first class goes between 0 and 5, the next one goes between 5 and 10, and so on. And of course we know that it goes just up to 5 but not including 5, and so on. But we'll draw it as if it goes all the way to 5, just to uh, make the picture as simple as possible. Then on the vertical axis we have the frequency. So here we have the points, here we have the frequency, and the highest frequency we see is 11, so we need to at least go up to 11. So let's have 10 here, and 5, and then we just draw a bar to the right height for each category. In the first class the frequency is 5, so we'll draw a bar up to 5, ranging from 0 to 5. Then from 5 to 10 the frequency was 11, so that one goes all the way up to the top of the graph. Then from 10 to 15 that frequency was again 5. From 15 to 20 it goes down to 4, so we'll draw it a little shorter down at the tick mark for 4. And the last one goes back up to 5. So each class, each category, gets a bar with the height representing the frequency. It's relatively simple once you've drawn the frequency table, which just consists of counting the ones that fit into each class.